She first shot to stardom with Bedroom Eyes. Won the hearts of millions of fans with Pash. Kiss me passionately. And became the voice behind some superstar productions. Kate Sobrano has solidified her place in the Aussie music history books with a captivating career spanning more than 30 years. Now she's back with her 28th studio album, which features special renditions of Kate's favourite tunes and two new songs. Sweet Inspiration is the new album. Where did this come from? Well, I think the last album we talked to each other about was The Dangerous Age. And I love that you were fangirling like I was over Steve Kilby, <laughs> which is really essential, don't you think? Yeah. Um, when it's often my own album and I have to um, put it into a context, uh, it, becomes, it, it becomes a very different type of experience than an ensemble record. This was made during COVID. It was done at a time when we were restricted from our everyday activities in a studio, for instance. We weren't able to, you know, be in the, in, in the, the control booth to listen to it to collectively as a band. And we just managed to scrape through um, getting it recorded in real time over three days. So everything you hear on the record are full takes that the band and I have done together. How did you choose which song you wanted to include on this album? They're just personal favourites of mine. I mean, I, I have been uh, raised across at least, you know, four decades worth of music in my life. And then you add to it all of my parents and the history of their music and interests. Each of the songs, when I hear them as a total, it makes sense to me. And I wonder if it'll make sense to people probably of my vintage as well. But anyone who isn't, I think they'll discover some really cool songs. And there's two original songs. My record label were really with me during COVID and really with the artist. Um, they insisted that I do bookends with my original work so it didn't feel like it didn't have some context to the times. So I was offered a, a title by my friend Robert, who's my a and guy here at Sony. Um, he said, sweet inspiration sounds beautiful to me. And I said, bang, I'll take it. And so uh, we started there and then Hold On itself was my response to the time that we were in. And it was probably brave mark too. We are in such a good position at the moment in terms of being able to go and see live music and travel around the country. Do we need to see more support for the industry? I think that's an enormous question that should be delivered to people in power. Uh, I feel that in a way the arts have been relegated to that we'll get to it eventually. But the thing that I don't think is being acknowledged is how essential it's been as a service to the community. And Australian music has never been more important than it is today. We won't have international artists travelling to this country. Not for a couple of years, perhaps. So now is the time to find the people that we love and peg our high hopes and aspirations and have them take us through this time because they will be delivering us the soundtrack of this period of our lives and, and I don't think we'll ever forget them. Sweet Inspiration is available to buy or stream now. Samantha Foxen, Sky News.